I have a question about the difference that you mentioned um, between men and women. And in looking at the type of stroke, it, does that seem to explain any of the gender difference? Do women tend to have different types of stroke than men? Yeah, that's a great question. We, um, in the alert cohort, we, we weren't able to look at types of stroke, but in the partners cohort we have, and the relationship holds true for both ischemic strokes and hemorrhagic strokes. So it didn't seem like that was necessarily different um, in terms of that relationship. Number two. Just a general question. Do, do you know if there are any data looking at SWE uh, in HIV positive patients, so susceptibility weighted imaging with MR, to, as another window on cerebral small vessel disease burden? Yeah, do so I'm, I'm trying to think quickly about whether microbleeds have been looked at. I don't know actually if specifically microbleeds have been looked at. Um, yeah, I, I'm not aware. Number three. Thank you for your talk. Um, I'm just wondering, did you explore any interactions between um, stroke in women and the use of um, hormonal contraception? So in the partners cohort, we have attempted to do that, um, and we have not seen that there is any clear um, relationship with oral contraceptives um, or hormone use, um, and we also have not seen that that, that that seems to mediate much of this relationship that we're seeing. Number one in the back. Thank you for the great talk. Uh, in the general population, we know that vascular risk factors obviously increase the risk of vascular dementia, but also increase the risk of Alzheimer's dementia. So it's not surprising that in this population, as they get older, we're going to see increased vascular changes. And HIV is, if there weren't meat for HIV, then they wouldn't have the increased vascular changes. So it's the HIV that and everything related to it, treatment, the uh, uh, chronic inflammation, et cetera, that's probably driving all of these changes leading to increased vascular risk factors and thereby leading to cognitive change. Because clinically, it's very difficult to tell the difference between sure. vascular dementia, between vascular and Alzheimer's. Sure. No, I, I think that that definitely um, makes sense. I think that the one thing is that in some of these different studies, there hasn't been as clear of a relationship between some of these traditional vascular risk factors and, you know, white matter hyperintensities, et cetera, in the HIV, you know, groups. But sure, I think that kind of teasing apart how intertwined all of these things are is, is tough. <laughs> Number two. Hi, just uh, going on with the difference between men and women. Um, you mentioned that there was a difference in monocytes. Was there any other um, inflammatory or immunological parameters measured in that, or did you just saw a difference in monocytes? In no, there were there weren't any differences other than soluble CD one sixty three and mm -hmm. CD fourteen, so both sort of monocyte yeah. you know, activation markers. Um, did they propose in, a, like a mechanism of why or why there was a difference between the men and women, like? You know, in that study, I'm not sure if specifically they have, others in this room might be able to comment better than me as far as sort of what the immunology is behind mm -hmm. it or sort of proposed immunologic mechanisms. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest, if, if they specifically proposed a mechanism, at least in that paper. Right. Thanks. Okay, last question, number three. Um, we recently had a case of a 30 year old <coughs> male who low CD4 count of nine, started hard, and sort of within two weeks to develop hand weakness, you know, stroke symptoms, and shown on MRI. Do you think that it's kind of an immune reconstitution syndrome? Are you seeing, and they read the MRI as vasculitis versus vasculopathy. Do you mm -hmm. think that this is? Yeah, so I think anecdotally, absolutely, we see that not infrequently. Um, and actually, in Laura Benjamin's paper in Malawi, that was a risk factor, was having started on ART in the past six months was a risk factor for stroke. So that's something that they're also seeing. I think that, um, sure, it, it very much feels like iris, right? You know, just the temporal course and also, you know, oftentimes we'll see even some enhancement uh, on imaging as well. Um, so I, I do think it probably is related to, you know, immune reconstitution in those particular cases. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.